part of work that I'm the most proud of is supervising and mentoring PhD students. I found it really um, rewarding actually to watch the student to develop and mature over time. Currently, I'm a senior staff scientist at the ICR. When I was younger, I do enjoy science a lot, actually doing experiments and discovering new findings. That's why I decided to do a PhD and continue to do uh, research as my career. At the ICR, Martin Nietzsche is my mentor. He supported my application to the AORA uh, leadership program, a program funded by the government to promote women in the leadership role in higher education. Women maybe feel less confident. They will on only apply for a job if they know they can do it. In men, that might not be the case. They might see a couple of things that they can do. They say, okay, we'll go for that. And then it's a different mentality. So during the program, we actually got given training in how, how to improve our leadership skills, how to network with people, and what we required to, in the leadership role. If I speak to my younger self, when I started off in science, I think the word that I would say to myself is focus. Choose a subject area that actually interests you the most to build up your publications and to actually enable you to get further funding and apply for fellowships. Myself, <laughs> well, actually, I, I guess that is the only thing that I did not do because when I started on my PhD, I did a degree and a PhD in chemistry. I started doing cancer about 15 years ago and I think that's probably where I would say.